I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a developer. I really don't know who I am. But I'm uh, here to tell you a story rather than an experience from moving from the LGPL to the Mozilla uh, license version 2. Just a, a, a real case study. It's, uh, I'm the founder of the Spa World Mission. Just a quick introduction, not to uh, make advertising about what I'm doing, but just to give you the context. I'm the founder of the Spa World Initiative. Um, and Spa World Initiative is an open source initiative by an engineering group that is the main IT service provider in Italy, uh, mainly systems integrator. We decide to uh, enter the open source market, the open source space in 2004 with this initiative, not just to use open source but to build open source projects. Now we have four uh, open source projects in, uh, uh, hosted by the OW2 con Consortium. We are co-founder of the OW2 Consortium and I'm board member from the very beginning. The most known is Power BI and two projects uh, in the Eclipse Foundation uh, business, about business process management and business activity monitoring. It's a long story as you can see. And the SPA World vision is to, because we, we believe in the knowledge share and expertise exchange, because we are mainly integrators, developers. So we know that we must learn using the software, looking at the software, and sharing experience. I am part of the Research Innovation Department of Engineering Group and I strongly believe that people and knowledge are key to innovation. So when we enter the open source arena, we, we decide to follow this main direction. An holistic approach, not just a tactical approach to push a project to uh, become a new vendor in the market. To try to build following a mature process development, software quality is key for all our developments. Uh, the company is also certified under CMMI and something else. We strongly believe that it's not just to uh, develop software, but to uh, participate in an ecosystem and to uh, build ecosystems. And of course, because we are entering in a, a, a mature uh, uh, market, we must provide commercial support to our open source projects. Very quickly, Spago BI is uh, a, a, a suite that is completely open source, following a poor open source approach, but it deals with business intelligence, so it targets a commercial adoption by nature. It's not a community product, as you can understand. But we uh, foster an approach open to any kind of collaboration. And actually, we act as a vendor in the business intelligence market uh, with a different uh, 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 offer because uh, we follow the, the open source, uh, uh, the open source adoption, but we collaborate also with the research institution. We uh, are often at university for uh, lectures and uh, as a testimonial of open source. Spark BI is a corporate-led product; it's not a community project. So its community is mainly based by users, not by developers. We have some contributors, but the main contributors are users. The contributor contributes requirements, not code. So it's very important to understand the context, because the choice of the license is strongly related to the context where you operate. Uh, just this is an advertising slide about Spago BI, but we have more insight about Spago BI. Uh, after me, there will be a 7 session and a workshop in the afternoon if you want to have more. But if you want to have uh, uh, all information about Spago BI, just buy uh, about 50 euros the complete book, Spago BI book, on the shop online, because this book is a service. We don't sell software, 
but just services and this is one of Swabia's services. What's just to, to complete the context, Spago BI is 100% open source forever. Forever is a strong assumption and a strong promise we make to uh, our users. Following the poor open source model, no, no vendor locking, of course, but no software locking, we, we there is a clear separation from the right to use the software and the services we, uh, we provide. As you know, many open source open core based model give you a community edition, but if you want to have a master project, we must buy the support of the enterprise edition. And the enterprise edition is a proprietary version. If you don't buy the subscription anymore, we don't have the right to use that software anymore. Uh, but we are use a user-oriented approach by nature and from the user control side the main, uh, we want to protect, protect software freedom uh, that uh, we started with uh, LGPL because it's free software granting the free uh, software the, the right to, to, to your freedom to use the software so when moving the license, we, uh, we deal with granting the free software compatibility. And because it's tar targeting a business intelligence market, we need to have a commercial friendly license. So we decide that things move over time. <laughs> Spalvi has adopted the LTPL from the very beginning because it was a sort of recommended option by object web when we enter in the in this uh, community and then ODM2. ODM2 uh, actually is more liberal, you can choose any uh, license you like following just the IP recommendation of the consortium, but at the very beginning they uh, pushed for LGPL because LGPL is free software commercial friendly. But I was very excited when in 2000, sorry, last year, a little bit mistake, has been released the uh, Mozilla version 2. Because I um, understand that it's a simple, modern, and understandable license. I'm not a lawyer, and I'm not able to understand the LGPR license. Uh, there are a lot, I understand that it's useful, there are a lot of legal notes inside, but it's very difficult to, to manage. Probably during the debate, Andrew can add something more. Mozilla version 2 is very simple, it's very clear, it's understandable, and it protects the project. It's a weak copyleft license. Because our goal is to continue to protect the freedom of Spagovia software over time to favor, but at the meantime to favor the Spagovia to be embedded in commercial distribution and to increase co contribution. So uh, we feel that this new license gives more flexibility to the users, not more freedom, more flexibility. And freedom is protected because it's free software compati compatible license. So we decide to take the opportunity for a complete revision of internal use of licenses by OBI because you know that uh, every uh, software product uh, d uh, is not used a, a lot of third party software with different license inside because of the complexity of the software. So, a revision to find out possible inconsistencies or incompatibilities uh, between license in Spago BI Suite. Uh, of course, we have to evaluate the new license to make Spago BI legally safer. And we, we take the opportunity to start a new uh, license management process in the Spagobia Competences Center. So the chance is based of simplicity because 
our users don't care so much about the license, but they want to understand the work won't be safe about the use of the license and to manage the, the inherent technological complexity of the suite. We use a lot of different libraries. For instance, we use uh, visual libraries that must be open source to grant that the whole suite is open source. And you know that the compatibility uh, uh, between license is a, 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 a real issue because the compatibility is one way. Call from a, a permissive license can be used as a part of a product whose overall license is more restrictive, but not its versa. And you must handle this issue. And uh, we was facing a community reaction. Okay, it's, the community is mainly by users, but it's not so easy to change a license. We want to say, Spau BI is going to close, is going to make something different. Uh, I strongly believe that uh, what we promise, we must maintain, is about transparency. Very quickly, the license contest is the GPL family, and the option was to keep the LGPL version 2 or move to the LGPL version 3, that is just in, a, uh, in addition to the GPL ver version 3. Uh, the LGPL is a commercial, frankly, but the scope of the GPL family is the corresponding source code. So it's a very, uh, it has a, a, a scope restriction. And in LGPL, the linking concept is very tricky. Uh, GPL is a, a license, but it's also a, a way of, a state of mind for the free software uh, adopters. You know that is a sort of vir viral license. So it's very difficult to understand uh, when you can link LGPL to other code. So we decide to move to the Mozilla because it's a file level with copyright license, not a library level. And this granular different granularity give you more flexibility. As I said before, a simple short motor, and I appreciate, has no scope restriction, but we adopt the explicit <coughs> compatibility cl uh, clause. So if someone wants to uh, downstream uh, Mozilla files and move to uh, GPL, they are allowed to do this. And we don't uh, fear a, a, a sort of fork about uh, uh, GPL or AGPL license. One, our aim is to protect the project over time to be uh, free software and open source and to give the user the flexibility to embed also in other open source or proprietary version. So we decide the, 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 to adopt, maintain the class B uh, category of license, you know that uh, I started when I started to to, to to learn about license. I followed the sum of it vision, uh, subdividing in class class A, B, and C, the unrestricted license like MIT, like BSD, the uh, file library based license that protect your code but are commercial friendly, and the class. C license that is mainly GPL family that are project based. So the process is to make the choice to uh, have prepare an internal software bill of materials. It's very important not just to understand uh, the license you are used internally in your code, but to uh, maintain this compatibility process over time to build a, a sort of compatibility uh, matrix based on the uh, different classes of uh, uh, license. And when there are were some possible conflict, to share information, ask to contact uh, third party editors. Uh, for instance, we uh, want to use a graphic library 
that uh, used the uh, DBL exception for software, other software um, uh, open source projects, but they didn't include the Mozilla version 2 exception, and I asked them to include, and they say, okay, uh, I do is, I'm in favor that you use our uh, graphic libraries. Some other open source based editors close the door. So it's a very important to open connection to third party because uh, you have to collaborate and understand the risk to adopt a, a different lessons. Uh, many communities uh, help you in using their software and to build an open source environment together. It's very important to communicate your choice. It's our experience to speak to the community why we have updated the license, providing detailed and transparent information. It's very for to make the choice of the license and to communicate to the community is key to uh, explain the real motivations. And uh, we uh, looking at the for principle of don't ask about openness, uh, we explained that for collaboration we adopted a weak copyleft license encouraging participation and contribution. We feel that it is more easy to participate with using this new license. For transparency, we improve all information in the Spago BI website about, lic about licenses. You can go to many open source projects very known in the market. They say, I'm open source, and there is no the term open source in the home page. And it's very tricky to find the licensing information. Some projects are really open source, some are just open source related. So we decide to give all the possible information in the website. Sharing. We adopt the uh, clause that uh, our compatibility of Mozilla uh, and GPL family because we believe in free software, in freedom of software, and we want to maintain this promise. And about empowerment, we want to give not only freedom but also flexibility to users. And uh, Mozilla version 2 is a mean to provide more flexibility. What are the results? I don't know. Because it's very difficult to... Uh, and we have a growing interest on Spago BI starting from this year when uh, we announced the new move of license. The new license, the first release was in beginning of July, and we have many indicators of increase of attention and adoption. Of course, I, we are not sure if there is a, a strict correlation about the increase of adoption and interest of Spago BI and the new license. But we suspect, I suspect that there are some correlation. For instance, we have a lot of new records from uh, individual software vendors that want to embed Spago BI in their commercial distribution. That's a, a, a part of the flexibility that we provide. And uh, with Spago BI, we are facing the competition of Oracle, SAP, IBM. So uh, no way to enter this market if, if we don't attempt, uh, if we're not able to enter with a different approach. And Poor open source is a very different, different approach. Separating software from the right to use of software from the services and with a pay for per use model. So we encourage the use of Spago BI because it is about brand awareness. And this new license encourages this use because many people are in the industrial market. <coughs> concern about the use of the GPL family, also if LGPL is a good license, and are more comfortable with new license. And we see these first results about the increase of participation. 
lesson learned about this story. Basically, users apparently don't care about open source legals, but the rights license choice matters. <coughs> it's not, okay, some legals, but I don't care. No, the right license choice probably matters. Things move over time. The license choice is not written in stone. What is key for the choice of the license are your goals, of course, what you want to get, but also your values. I think that you, if you want to collaborate in the open source area, if you want to be transparent, you must believe in you, you understand your values, and we, you must promote this through your open source product, also when choosing the license. About development team, the licensing practice, practices shall be revised periodically and consciously operated by the development team. Developers don't care usually so much of a license, so if you uh, start to build a, a, a proper <coughs> development and license management process, we have to revise periodically because the, the, the peak of interest sometimes decreases. And we, we might, must take care about this. And users. Uh, users usually look for cost reduction and effectiveness. They don't care so much about open source. Uh, we are pushing Spago BI in the United States market mm -hmm. and in the business internal space. They don't care about open source. They want uh, looking for cost reduction and probably flexibility is the, the right key. Uh, to make this happen, the right license helps, but it's more important that you are conscious and aware that you have made the right choice. If you are believed to have made the right choice about the license, you are more comfortable and more able to explain what you are providing. We are not sales manager, we are mainly technicians, and, but we are promoting our product and it's very important to communicate properly also from the legal perspective. So, my final remark about this presentation, I think that I, I, I was the, the first man in, in engineering to push the new Mozilla version 2 adoption because I think that it is a significant step in the direction to simplify licensing terms and unify open source legal adoption. I know that lawyers are useful and legal term matters, but we have too much license in the open source space. And uh, I, I, it's a, a sort of dream that is possible to get, but if we have just two or three licenses, probably we don't have all this issue. Probably the best choice is to, to, to adopt a foundation license. But my golden rules are the following. Uh, you must be focused. Your values and goals are the real target, <coughs> not the right, right license choice. Try to understand your values and goals and then everything uh, will uh, be related, also the uh, license choice. Take care and act as the good father does with his family. I'm not a lawyer, I can make mistakes, but if I act properly, properly, probably I can correct myself and make every time the right choice. Be transparent and communicate properly. It's key to foster a real open source adoption. Engage your community and third parties when appropriate, as I explained before. If you have some doubt, the best way is to communicate with others, to try to engage people and to understand and to learn from others. Ask for counseling. Don't make everything by yourself. <coughs> Lawyers are very useful. Just don't kill your lawyers, but train your lawyers and collaborate with them and manage exception carefully. Probably Spago BI 
is uh, safer from the, the license perspective, but probably there are issues. Every time there are issues. So we don't be particularly concerned about this, but if something happens, we can manage this as a, a carefully as an exception. If the first step to renew the license, we have more to do uh, to engage more the community, to understand more what the Spago BI community, I said is mainly a user community, but we want to attract more developers, more researchers, uh, other people, because it's a corporate-led project, and also if it's corporate-led project, we want to unlock the community. We have to do more also from the licensing side about contribution license agreement, and we have also a specific talk uh, uh, at the end of this morning to understand more about contribu uh, contributor license agreement or participation agreement, agreement policies. And it's very important in an open source project also to have an open architecture because it's not also about legals. An open license, an open community, but if you don't have an open architecture, people are not able to really contribute. So you must follow these three paths to open your projects. It's my regional experience. I hope uh, that it could be a useful story for you. And if you have more questions, probably, if you have just one question, because I Use all my time, or you can ask during the debate. Okay. Yeah, one question. Yeah, is it possible that the the increase of your user is the might be a side effect of uh, the communication and marketing you made uh, around this license change? Okay, uh, first of all, I don't like to use the, the word marketing, but communication. No, no, just, just to say because uh, I really believe that uh, open source must act differently. I'm facing a mature business intelligence market, but I pr prefer to say communicate. Uh, there are two correlated effects. Spago BI is the only real open source suite. The other open source based competitors are Pentel, Jaspersoft, or BERT, but they are open core to simplify open core based models. So many users feel that Spago BI is poor open source and want to remain open source and is part of our communication. Then when we decide to move the license, we say that we want to keep the same uh, promises, the same values, maintaining free software compatibility as I explained and to uh, stay open source forever. So uh, communication is very important to explain uh, properly uh, what the purpose of the new license. So the only uh, real complete suite open source, a new license to grant more flexibility properly is uh, this decision and the results are related. <coughs> Sorry, but I'm also a speaker, <laughs> a coordinator. Thank you. Uh, hi, you, Gabriel. Gabriel Rowe. Okay. You mentioned that you uh, felt it was important to communicate with your users um, the license change. Um, did you consult them beforehand, or was it, uh, was it? Did you feel it was better to ask for forgiveness rather than permission? Did you, or did you get your users involved in, in, in the license change before it was made? Uh, Spago BI is a corporate-led product and uh, we retain the IP, so uh, our co contribution agreement allows us to decide what we want to do with the, the license. So, uh, honestly, we don't ask, we announce at the beginning of the year that we was, uh, were moving the license just to understand, to have a sort of feeling, sort of reaction. Not to ask permission, but to have a reaction. Honestly, we do, didn't have a, a real reaction, no concerns about, so we decided to have a step forward to move, 
I asked for some uh, uh, consultancy, some advice before to, to act properly about communication, but not from the marketing man uh, asking counseling from open source actors, not from market sales actors. And we had very few reactions from some, uh, I, I remember a, a tweet from a, a real person of Grenoble that say, oh, uh, um, Spago BI is no more free software because